Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a LEGO Super Mario video. Today I feel like I needed to do this video because just judging by some of the reactions and comments yesterday, some stuff's come out about maybe minifigures and different things and specifically though Mario Kart, there's just been so much confusion and people's can, like ideas that they've come up with of what this is going to be. So I figured let's go ahead. Let's go through, talk about it, speculate, and theorize a little bit of well, like what could be happening in 2025 with this. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, well, yesterday LEGO actually revealed a couple of sets for Mario Day. These sets are going to be coming out in the summer, and in that presentation at the very end, they revealed and teased that Mario Kart is going to be happening in 2025. And what exactly is the teaser? Well, we know a couple of things. Number one is that it is going to be for the digital characters. This is not for minifigures. We know this for two reasons. Number one is that Digital Mario is standing next to the cart. And number two is you can see some of the parts being used for the cart. Here's a pretty good mock-up, I think. It's a little bit smaller, I think, than what we'll actually be getting. But some of the parts, even just looking at the actual carts from the game, it's like you could see like what pieces they're going to use for each of these different things. So I'm very excited to see that. I think that... It makes sense for it being digital. We even did a video, and again, we did a short talking about how I think Mario Kart's going to be happening because in Bowser's muscle car, there's this tile that has this uh, little driving effect, and it wasn't specific to the car. It was just this tile with a steering wheel, and when I saw that, I immediately went, okay, there's we're, we're getting Mario Kart sets, and I had theorized that we were going to be getting it this summer, but I guess I was just a little bit off, but... I'm still very excited to see these sets for sure, and I assume that there's going to be carts for at least Luigi and Peach, and I said this in the other video that I did recently of the Poltergust probably for Luigi, because that's his most iconic one I feel like, and then I would love a bike for Peach, uh, I think that would work really well, and of course because of the movie as well. So yeah, personally, I think if I had to theorize or dream about like what Mario Kart could be in the future... I actually see this as a number of things. I see this as a great opportunity to get more and more digital characters. You know, obviously a lot of people want Daisy. I'm one of the camp of I want Rosalina because I think if she were to release, then they would do like other Mario Galaxy sets alongside with her. Waluigi's the person that I probably play as the most. So I would love Waluigi and Wario. I saw Wario really going around yesterday. I think that would be great. Especially, I'm a big fan of Super Mario 64. Like, that was one of the things that on the DS that really made me fall in love with Mario and that whole world. So, obviously, I would love that, too. Some people for years have been saying a digital Yoshi. Like, I, I don't know. Are they going to make digital characters of all of these people that have already happened? Like, Bowser? I don't know. Are they going to have carts compatible for him? I mean, obviously, Dry Bowser. We've got all the Koopalings now. And also, Donkey Kong from last year, like, are they going to re-release carts that are non-digital characters? I'm not too sure, but when you look at all the different items for Mario Kart, a lot of them already exist, and I think that's going to be really interesting, too. Like, I'm trying to imagine when they're driving, is the bottom of the cart going to be open so that when they scan, they still go over a question mark block? Are they going to be able to hold different items in their hands? Like, there's just so many ideas that my mind goes to, like... You know, they can even have their own suits, maybe, whether it's like a suit to put Peach in like an actual race car outfit, but then it also comes with like a cool glider. There's just so many possibilities, so many iconic courses as well. I already saw people like being like, oh my goodness, we're going to get Lego Rainbow Road. So for me also, I look at Mario Kart as this sort of bridging of all the different Nintendo properties that we could get here. Like... This is the first time that I look at this and I'm like, this also opens the door to an Animal Crossing crossover where, you know, we've got Animal Crossing sets now. Are we going to get like a brick built Isabel? Could we get a digital Isabel that then could interact with other Animal Crossing sets, play the music and different things? I think that would be really crazy to see too alongside of these minifigures. I don't know. Like, I, I also think of... We've got a Legend of Zelda supposedly happening as well. I don't know. Like, to me, Mario Kart, because they're doing that, it's so much more than just courses and builds from different games. This is now Mario Kart, which has all these things, which I think is really exciting. 
when it comes to minifigures, yeah, they could bring just Lego minifigure Link or Isabel and put them in a cart, like a smaller version. But I want to talk about that because yesterday, if you didn't see, it kind of went viral, I guess, in a way. There was a response left on the reveal for Mario Kart on social media and Lego was kind of snarky. <laughs> Did someone throw a green shell your way? Exciting announcements coming soon. Now that's since been removed and I don't think that it was removed because of, you know, someone being like, whoa, that intern just leaked Lego minifigures. I just think that, you know, them taking that shot at them being like, were you just hit by a green shell? Like, I, I don't know what they were thinking with this response, but I don't know. You can read into it as minifigures are coming. I personally, I look at, they are now introducing three brand new starter courses and we've got Mario Kart next year, which is opening a whole batch of different like opportunities. Like the digital characters and all that, it, it's not going anywhere for a while. And that's just the way Lego works is they work in threes. And I think that this is now starting a new era this year of new Mario sets. And honestly, for the first time, like I was looking back on it after I released the video yesterday, I'm like, man, it's going to be nice to go the rest of 2024 without people being like the Lego Super Mario theme. It's done. 2024 is the last year. It's going to be nice because we know it's not. We've got stuff in 2025. So I really actually appreciate that announcement for that reason. Three years worth as well. That's going to take us into 2026, 2027. Which means, you know, we could hopefully get sets for this new Super Mario movie that they just announced today. I hope that LEGO realized how much they missed out on the first movie, and hopefully they don't miss out on this movie. My guess is it's maybe Luigi's Mansion, because they didn't say that it's Super Mario 2, they just said that it's uh, in that world. So, I hope, regardless of whatever it is, that LEGO and Universal... And Nintendo, they all work together here. Give us some cool products to promote the movie. And, you know, someone pointed out that that piano is perfect little reference to the Super Mario movie that's in the new castle. So, I don't know. I love it. I, I hope they do something official. But what do you think of all this? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Is there anyone specifically that you'd like to see LEGO do next as a digital character that you would want to drive around with? Or, yeah, we're not really sure how this is going to work, but uh, I, I've got so many more ideas. I've had an idea, not just for Mario Kart, but also Mario Party. I could see them doing something like that in the future as well. That's something that I've talked about on streams, and I've even commented a little bit about uh, yesterday. So... I don't know. I think that we're in this for a while. I know that that upsets some people. I know that they want minifigures, and I get that. I really, really do. But I'm also really enjoying all this stuff, and at least now for the foreseeable future, we've got this. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hope you will have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.